All right, so this is just gonna be a quick video on how to replace the charge port on this Lenovo Yoga 910-13IKB. So I already removed all the screws. You will use a T5 or a Torx 5 screwdriver and remove all the screws around here. Keep them in order because the screws can be different size, shapes, and lengths. In this case, they're actually the same, but it's always a good idea to do that. So there's four up here, one on each side, and then four more down here. Once you do that, there is a clip in the center, but you just lift up on the cover here, and then you kind of just pull it up, and it should unclip, all right? So that clip is right here between the battery. Um, we are going to take out the battery to replace or to remove this just to be safe. Um, it's always a good idea to remove the battery because this does control the power button, and you don't want to risk any damage when pulling that out. All right, so the battery model number, if you want to replace it, is L15M4P23. Okay, hopefully you can actually read that. I don't know if you can. But anyways, to remove the screws from the rest, we're going to need a JAS or PH0 screwdriver. And again, keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shapes, and lengths. All right, there's four screws holding it in place. There's one here, one down here, one on either side of the trackpad, and then another one on the opposite side over here. Okay, so I'll remove those four screws. And then you got this yellow tape. This is kept on tape, which is like a thermal kind of electrical tape. So you're just going to move this tape out of the way. Okay. Just hold that out of the way. If you want, you can peel it completely off and then put it back on later, but I'm just going to hold it out of the way. Then what you want to do is lift the battery up like this. You want to get underneath and you want to get your finger under the cable here. Okay. If you can. And then you can grab on the other side and you want to pull the battery connector out like this. It actually pops up slightly, but you can slide it back. All right. And that's how you remove this battery. Okay. Once you remove the battery, you want to press and hold the power button to drain any power. Just so if there's any power, you won't risk damaging this piece here. All right. So press and hold the power button. Okay. Do this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And yeah, this will... Uh, make it a bit safer to work on the um, powered components, the ones that have any stored power in them. Okay, so now that once we've done that, we're going to remove all the screws for this board as well. So there's one on either copper end here. Actually, let me zoom in so it's easier to see. Okay, so there's one on either copper end here, there's one on the corner down below it, and then there's one all the way down here. So we're going to remove all of those pieces. So this board controls the two USB-C ports, and it also has the, um, uh, what do you call, the one speaker down here, which is actually the left speaker, but since it's flipped over, it's on the right side. Okay, so we're just going to take these screws out. All right, this part is pretty expensive. When I found online, they're about 100 bucks or so. Um, plus tax unless you're ordering from China, but even then it's like really close to a hundred dollars Okay, so anyways once you remove all those parts uh, all those screws we're gonna have to peel off this um, Foam piece so just peel it up from this side just like this you want to hold down the board so you don't lift it up All right, and then there's also this but um, we're gonna lift this piece up first So I just get my fingernail under here. You can use um, plastic pry tools or whatever you want but you want to lift it up and kind of like angle it over because there are these little metal posts that hold the board in place. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to flip this latch here. This is for the cable. So you need to get underneath there and flip that latch up. Okay, so we unlatch that and then you can rotate this over to the side to release it. Then you want to get this board over the top so it's easier to have access to this. And now you can access the speaker cable. So just grab that. I use my fingernails. You can use whatever tweezers. And you kind of just wiggle this as you pull it, just like this. And it will come out just like that. Then you just get the replacement board, OK? And you just push this back in, all right, and squeeze that together. Um, if you want a video of the SSD and everything else replacing the screen, I have a video of that. I worked on another um, customer's computer to do that repair. So yeah, all right, so we're gonna get this cable 
And same like before, we're going to kind of try and rotate it in. Try and get it to go straight in if you can. You don't want to put it at an angle if you can help it. All right. So try and get this cable to go in um, as straight as you can, not so much at an angle like that. Okay. So you kind of can lift it up. So lift it up higher than the posts and then get it at straight in like that. All right. Once you got that piece in, then you can put the latch back down. Okay. Make sure that it's completely flush and you can tell because you can see the white line here should be kind of um, parallel to this bar. All right. Then you want to make sure that these little metal posts line up, drop it into place, get the screws, put them back in. Okay. Just like that. All right. And then we got to put back the battery. So the battery connector can be a little tricky. Um, don't forget this piece. So this um, has like a little lip here that sticks out and that goes away from the thing connector. And then it has a little groove here. So the groove lines up so that you can just barely see the metal pins there and then just push that down. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we'll take the battery. Let me zoom out a tiny bit. Uh, I think that's good enough so you can see. All right, so with the battery, we're gonna put that back in. Just hold this stuff out of the way. Um, I think we actually can just push it back down on top. So get it lined up as much as you can all the way to the end and then push that connector down just like that and then make sure that these posts line up drop it in place check that the battery connector that the metal pins are completely covered if they aren't you might have to kind of push the battery connector forward more to get it to go completely into the slot i had to actually push that in to make sure that it went completely in all right and there you go. You shouldn't see any of the pin exposed between this metal piece and the plastic connector. And once you got that, just put that back on. Then we'll put back the screws. Okay. All right. Again, I do have a video showing how to take out the screen and everything. Uh, if you are replacing the screen, again, make sure you disconnect the battery, press and hold the power button before um, touching these connectors or you can damage the, the whole computer. All right. Let's get that. Make sure that the speaker connector is in all the way. All right. And the last screw. There we go. All right. So now you can actually test this. Since the cover does have a clip to hold it in place, we could easily just put this back on just so that it's there's no risk of damaging anything when we flip the computer over. Pop that clip back in place. Okay. And then we test the charge port. All right. So just plug it in. And yep, the light is on. I don't know if you can see it. It's too bright. Oh yeah, you can see it. So the light is on. It's good. Open it up. Make sure that your computer turns on. It is turning on. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, I am going to put the screws back even though I didn't take them out in the video. But here you can see um, that it's showing the charging icon. Okay. And then if I unplug this, it goes away. And the brightness goes down. Plug it back in. And it shows it's charging again. All right. So, yep, it's working. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Um, I'm just going to put back the bottom screws using the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. But that's all there is. If you want, you can stay while I put in the rest of the screws. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Alright, there we go. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.